Now, nothing says Easter quite like chocolate Easter eggs, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, yeah. But today, Baker Extraordinaire Jane Dunn is showing us a new way to enjoy them with... Oh, God, do I have to? With her cracking speckle-leggy... <sighs> Let's take a look. Easter is only a few days away, and I'm marking the occasion by doing what I do best. Baking. So far in this series, I've visited a bakery in Bolton to explore the Easter tradition of baking hot cross buns. I feel like I could eat all of them. And even baked up a delicious, slightly indulgent cream egg scotch egg. Now I'm taking it up a notch and using the chocolate Easter egg as inspiration for today's bake. I feel like I've won the golden ticket because today I'm in Huntington, Cambridgeshire to visit the Hotel Chocolate Chocolate Factory to see how they make the best Easter treat, the chocolate egg. The Easter egg tradition actually dates back further than you may think to paganism, when eggs, often considered the start of all life, were thought to have magical powers and were painted bright colours to celebrate the sunlight of spring. And from its ancient origins to its modern day traditions, it's time to get cracking and make some chocolate eggs. Come with me and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. You see all the tanks behind us here? Yeah. There's over a hundred tons of liquid chocolate behind us. We keep our chocolate nice and molten and warm, ready to pipe down to our production line. And what we're going to be doing with that today, this is going to form the shell of one of our Easter eggs we're making. This is our large mixer, so what this does is we pour the ingredients in and essentially we're creating a vacuum um, in the middle of it to make a nice lickably smooth filling. And what filling are we making in here? So this today? is for the salted macadamia egglet, so we've got a number of ingredients to go in it. Delicious! It looks so good! It smells amazing, doesn't it? I just want to drink it though. So this is where the real magic happens. This is where we're making the final egg shape. So you can see we've got the filling coming down one side and the shell coming down the other. And what we're doing at this point is we're pressing them through our mould set into the shape of the egg at the bottom. How many eggs do you think you make every year? So we do over about 2 million eggs every year. 2 million? And this Insane. line in particular, this line can do over 40,000 of these particular eggs every hour. So this is the actual end of the process? Yeah, so here we've got our salted macadamia egglets coming off the line. So obviously it's Easter now. When did you start making We started Easter back in October. Really? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. That's absolutely. absolutely crazy. Well, thank you so much for showing me around. It's been absolutely brilliant. I've got some really good ideas for my next bake. So thank you. You're absolutely welcome. Amazing. For today's bake, I'm taking all the expiration I need for my factory visit by combining these delicious chocolate speckled eggs with one of my other favourites, cookie dough, to make my delicious New York speckled egg cookies. Let's get started. So the first step to make these delicious cookies is to cream your butter together with your sugars. To the butter, add in 100 grams of light brown sugar with 75 grams of granulated sugar and mix until combined. So once your butter and sugars are creamed together, you add in the egg and the vanilla. The vanilla is optional, but I like it because it gives an extra little bit of sweetness. Once you've added that in, you just want to mix it until there's a thick paste of cookie dough. Next, add in half a teaspoon of sea salt to really bring out the cookie dough flavour. Because you want these cookies to be giant and chunky, I tend to add in baking powder and bicarbonate of soda because it gives them the delicious rise and it makes them all lovely and gooey and heavenly. Now add in 300 grams of plain flour. You want to make sure that you use plain flour because you really want to make sure that they don't turn out like cake. And then you just want to mix your cookie dough together until combined. So once your cookie dough is finished, it should look a little bit like this. It's really thick, gooey cookie dough paste. And then of course you can add in all of the delicious bits, especially the chocolate. First up, I'm adding in 100 grams of white chocolate chips. And of course, the most important bit is the speckled eggs. I tend to chop these ones a bit because then it goes a little bit further, but you can do what you want. It can be a bit messy, but it's fun. Delicious, thick and gooey. Now it's time to portion out our cookie dough by tipping it onto the chopping board and dividing into eight chunks. When I started making these cookies, I just wanted to make sure that I created a delicious, gooey cookie that kids would love because it's Easter, you want something fun, chocolatey, heavenly, and they are the best cookies. Now roll the cookies into balls 
and add on some extra speckled eggs for decoration before chilling in the fridge. Once your cookies have chilled for about an hour, you just want to split them between two trays because they may spread a bit when baking and you don't really want a giant cookie pizza. Now let's get baking. Place the cookies into a preheated oven, 180 degrees for fan assisted and 200 for conventional ovens and bake for 12 to 14 minutes. C is for cookie, that's good enough for me. Just yes. look at how delicious they are. They're so warm and gooey. And of course, now's the best bit. Cookie, cookie, cookie starts with C. Mmm. Is that nice? Oh, yeah. Very good. Mmm. That's delicious. Yeah, nice. Oh, come on, get involved. Oh, I've it. given them up for Lent. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's delicious. This morning, gaslighting me oh, a week well with done. these things. She's genius, isn't nightmare. she? Mm. Very nice. Could you do Enough this? now. These need to go somewhere else to be yeah. more Can you do the link? Is that all right? Of course I will, my love. I hope you don't mind. Did you make that yesterday? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Georgina. <laughs> Looks like one of ours, doesn't it? <laughs>